Hi guys, it's Jimmy McIntyre here. Thank you for downloading the Easy Panel. This is a very quick video showing you how to install the Easy Panel in Photoshop, and it will install the same way in Photoshop CS5, CS6, CC, CC 2014. That's on both Windows 32 bit, 64 bit, and on iOS. Now, to begin with, you have to have Extension Manager installed. If you don't have it installed, you can go to the Easy Panel option and the first PDF that you see, click on that. It's called Use This Guide to Install Panel. And you'll see a link to the Extension Manager here. Once you've downloaded that and installed it, this is what Extension Manager looks like. And you'll see to the left Photoshop CC 2014 or CS6 or CS5, whatever you have. If you don't have this here, then for some reason, Extension Manager and Photoshop aren't communicating with each other properly. So you may need to reinstall Photoshop or speak to the guys at Adobe. Now to install the panel, it's very straightforward. We just go to install and then find the folder with the easy panel in. So in my case, it's the easy panel and I'm using CC 2014 and I double click on that and you'll see it says installing extension. Just press accept and install. And there we have it. Photoshop must be closed for you to do this. Now, if we open up Photoshop, we'll see in Windows, Extensions, Easy Panel. And the Easy Panel will show up. It takes a few seconds the first time round. And here's the Easy Panel. It's as simple as that. Now, for some, this installation method might not work. And as I mentioned before, it may be a lack of communication between Extension Manager and Adobe, or it could be a caching or preferences problem, so you might have to reinstall Photoshop. If you don't wish to do that, we can do a manual install instead. So firstly, if we close Photoshop and we go to the folder again where the Easy Panel is, you'll see number two, use this if can't install. And this will give you alternative methods to install the panel. For example, all we need to do is copy this file and paste it into the same folder. And now rename the end of this so we're changing the file format to zip instead of ZXP and press yes. Now we have to unzip this folder and unzipping and opening are two different things. So make sure you're unzipping the folder. To do that on a PC, I press, I right click and choose extract all and press extract. And now we have more options. All we need to do here is change the extension again of this folder and press yes. And again, we're going to extract all. And now this is all of the information we need. So if we go up one, we can see this folder has now been created that we clicked on. And so all we need to do is right click on here, press copy, go to C drive, Program files times 86, common files, Adobe, CEP, extensions, and right click and paste this folder into your CEP folder. Now, if we open up Photoshop again, we go back to window, extensions, and there's the easy panel again. If for whatever reason you can't install the panel and you don't want to reinstall Photoshop, then we still have the actions and they give you the exact functionality of the Easy Panel. We just don't have the convenience of the Easy Panel. To install the actions, all we need to do is open up our Actions dialog, then go to our Easy Panel folder and click on Actions in case panel doesn't work. And there's the Photoshop Power Pack actions, and we just select all of them, drag them into Photoshop, and put them in our Actions dialog. And if you want to make it much more convenient than this, we simply click on the top right hand option and go to button mode. And you see now all of the actions. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed the easy panel. We've also got some extra bonuses in there for you as well. So if we go back and go to the Art of Digital Blending sample, you'll see some sample videos from my most popular course and including the full transcript for the course. I've also included two extra videos from YouTube that should help you get your head around luminosity masking to some degree. Okay, thank you very much again for downloading the Easy Panel. I hope you have a lot of fun with it.